Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm glad to have you guys here. Welcome back to this month's PCW tournament, PCW Rebirth. We are now on to the final bits of the tournament. The steel cage is getting crazy, it's getting bloody, it's getting wild. Round number four, semifinals, finals, PCW World's Championship. We're doing it all in this video, people. We have the eight final people and patrons and wrestlers and cool dudes in this tournament. Scott Hall, Undertaker, Luke Harper, Rhino, Triple H, Goldberg, all might, the number one ranked hero is here. And Mark Henry in the salmon suit. It's gonna get crazy. Strap in. You're gonna wanna see this. It's going down. Which one of these eight men will face off against Tetsuya Naito and Xenon AMVs for the PCW World's Championship? Let's do it. If you wanna join next month's PCW tournament, check out the link in the description. Tell me down in the comments what your favorite match of the episode was. And leave a thumbs up let's go ahead and get into the first match of this episode scott hall and the undertaker two legends in this business scott hall and undertaker two pillars during the monday night wars between wcw and wwf back in the day and now here in pcw they're throwing down in the cage undertaker one of the best pure strikers in wwe history as they say scott hall he just beat the brakes off of him back and forth here undertaker putting him down a little bit but scott hall fires back i'm telling you equally matched men right here scott hall representing jonathan i undertaker representing th takeover both men have had hell of a tournament so far they have been doing quite well scott hall just body slamming on body slamming on body slamming keeping it simple stupid you know what they say kiss it up scott hall now going for that pivot between that shoulder blade he wants to take it home with him, put it on his, his mount, his man, mantle, mantle, he's, he's putting, putting his house. Undertaker picking Scott Hall back up. Scott Hall going to go for that pivot one more time. Up goes Undertaker with the suplex action, down goes both men, 245 in a round number one, three rounds, five minutes apiece. Until we get to that championship match, one of these men could make it there. Scott Hall trying to put Undertaker up for a suplex, not going to happen, Taker puts him down, Pat. Wait a minute, whoa! I didn't know what was going on there. Saw a lariat, I didn't know what was going on. Got hot behind him, he got a little too crazy crazy right there. But of course, for this final video where we go over round four, semifinals and finals, and the championship match, Bulma had to join me. She's sitting here on my lap right now. You see a good kitty, yes you are, good kitty cat, yes you are. Both men are down, one minute remaining in round number one. And this is actually like Undertaker, the, the Scott Hall's like Undertaker the distance here. Down goes, take him on. Punch to the back of the neck. Undertaker now trying to get something started, but Scott Hall is just keeping him at bay with these punches. He's kind of zoning him a little bit. Undertaker going in. Knee from Scott Hall. Two seconds remaining. And that is all she wrote for round number one. We are on to round number two. Wait a minute. What is this? Scott Hall. <gasps> Last ride and Scott Hall's out. Undertaker. 20 seconds into round number two. The last ride came out of left field, and Undertaker is taking, taking TH Takeover to the next round. Harper making his PCW debut this tournament, and this man's in round four. This man is in round four. Harper and All Might both are here in round number four. It's crazy, man. I'm telling you. This is the perfect tournament for Luke Harper to make his debut. This man is a straight bruiser. He was a straight brawler, but now he's going to face off against the likes of Rhino, a straight-ass Animorph. Harper representing Craig R. Rhino representing Tom C. Harper may be going for that suplex, maybe even a Falcon's arrow, but Rhino, whatever it was, is not going to allow that to happen. Throwing off a punch of his own before hitting a belly-to-belly -belly suplex there. Rhino in control of this matchup. Luke Harper's going to be working from the ground now. Rhino putting the damage in. Oh, I thought maybe one of that gore over that Lariat will do just the same amount of damage. Back elbows there, a la Kevin Nash from Luke Harper. Down goes Rhino now as Harper's trying to fight his way back in, hit a couple string of moves back and forth. Rhino is just not going down. It doesn't matter what Luke Harper throws at this man, he just does not want to go down. Dropping the elbow now, Luke Harper trying to string these moves together. The Lariat to the back of the neck. Oh, the big boot drop, Rhino! But Rhino is going to get right back into the mix, but Harper saw whatever was coming, coming. Maybe a power bomb of some sorts. But Rhino saw it too, man. They both know each other so damn well. They both are able to predict what's happening next. Rhino stopping that suplex again. 
Picking him back up. Big gore. Luke Harper's back to his feet, though. Rhino. Gorilla press slam. One minute remaining in round number one. Another gore. Luke Harper is still in this matchup. Another gore, but Harper got out of the way. Spinning Rhino around. He's down. Luke Harper looking to follow up. I don't know how Harper's still in this match. Big Lariat. Back and forth here. Shoot headbutt right from Luke Harper. Five second discus Lariat. Saved by the bell. Rhino was out. Luke Harper had the W, but the bell rang. Ref James did not call the match. Oh my God. Rhino now in control. TKO and Luke. Wait, what? Both men are out. Did Rhino get called the victor? I'm guessing the judges came up with the numbers and they voted on the side of Rhino because that was a damn draw. Rhino winning the numbers game, Luke Harper getting screwed. Wow, that was a controversial match right there. But the tournament must go on, people. And now we have Triple H representing Taylor C and Goldberg representing Hale Mendoza. They kind of look very similar, to be honest with you. They almost look like uh, scuffed images of each other. Triple H going in for some punches here. This is going to be a hard-hitting match. And these boys are really going to be throwing it at each other here. Goldberg going for them legs. He knows Triple H has got them weak little baby legs. He tore them quads. He knows what to do. Triple H going to go for the back of Goldberg, that double axe handle. Goldberg going to throw a punch here. Triple H going to throw it back. Equally match men here. Also, two pillars in the WWF versus WCW days. Goldberg running it for WCW. Triple H running it for the WWF. Triple H was rocking jean jackets. And what you going to do against a man that rocks jean jackets? And rocks them well, too. I mean, my man had like three hoodies on. You know how hard it is? You know how hot it is? In WWF, like back in the day, you know how bad that was? There was smoke everywhere, pyro going off, shit was happening. I mean, it was crazy. And this man had three hoodies on and a jacket? I cannot relate, dog. I would die. All right, I get hot in a second just thinking about heat. This man, Triple H, is rocking four jackets. Triple H spinning neckbreaker there on Goldberg. Three minutes, 30 seconds into round number one. Wait a minute, Goldberg gonna go down. Pedigree, but he's still in the match. Goldberg is not out. That was not a knockout. Uranagi on a Triple H as Goldberg tries to fire back. Big spear on a Triple H, but Triple H is not going down either. Both men have put it down, but it ain't over just yet. Triple H able to reverse that suplex. Now Triple H using that big knee. The Lariat from Triple H as he tries to follow up. Maybe a pedigree. No, we got a strike contest. 15 seconds left in round number one. Back and forth. Both men are down, and they're going to need this little rest. Now for round number two. Wait a minute. Belly to belly suplex from Goldberg. He's coming right out the gate. This man must have gotten the juice. Triple H, big suplex, puts down Goldberg. Another reset, 22 seconds into round number two. That Uranagi from Goldberg, and Triple H is out. And Goldberg and Hale Mendoza are moving on to the next round, baby. That Uranagi is dangerous, people. And now we have the final match of round number four. All Might representing Timmy Changa versus Mark Henry representing Mr. West. And we have the number one hero, All Might, versus the number two hero, Mark Henry in a summer suit. This man is crazy out of control. All Might going for the leg sweep. My man has it locked in. That stretch muffler. Oh my god, the knees. The knees. This man is going straight for Mark Henry. The headbutt there from All Might. The forearm. Another headbutt from All Might. Oh, wait a minute. There's that. I don't even know what to call that. It's like a modified air raid siren. Down goes... Mark Henry to that Carolina smash. Elbow to the back. Mark Henry is still in this match somehow. I really don't know how. Towards the cage. Down goes Henry. All Might is in full control of this match. The discus lariat. Will he be able to hit that Detroit smash and put Mark Henry out for good? That Superman punch could be coming at any point. We will see. Mark Henry elbow to the head. All Might's going to fire back three minutes into round number one. What is this? 
Oh my god! He was like a spinning pa- I don't even know what that was! He went like a gut wrench, I thought it was gonna be a Dr. Wily's bomb, but it went to like a spinning- I don't know- Oh my, it's just crazy! There's a reason he's the number one hero. Back and forth, and All oh my puts him down with a discus lariat, but uses all of his energy to do so. Oh my god! This man just smashed his nuts! Oh my, and Timmy Changa with the nut smash! Oh man! What a way to win! The first match of the semifinals is underway. We have Undertaker representing TH Takeover, fighting off against Rhino representing Tom C. Rhino able to take down Harper in the last round, Undertaker able to take down Scott. Hall. Now, which one of these men will be able to take down each other and move on to the finals of PCW Rebirth? Undertaker putting the punches down on Rhino. Now, you gotta watch out for the best pure striker, baby. He's throwing them punches real good, but Rhino's got those gores and those gorilla press slams, man. I'm telling you, you gotta watch out for them gores. People don't be watching out for them. Combination from Undertaker here. Short arm clothesline. Undertaker is starting to go to work. Belly to belly from Rhino will even up the playing field just a little bit. We aren't even two minutes in yet, people. Not even two minutes in yet. Wait a minute, what is Rhino doing here? Does it matter as Undertaker's able to stop it? That could have been real schmelly for a second. Up goes Rhino, Undertaker looking for something from behind, not gonna happen. Gorilla press slam one more time from the Rhino. From behind, Larry to the back of the neck. Rhino is starting to mount some offense on Undertaker. It is not looking good for the dead man. Back goes Undertaker, down he goes, and now we have a reset. Undertaker back to his feet, three minutes in. Down goes Undertaker, Rhino now from behind. Wait a minute, Undertaker with a side rush and leg sweep. As he picks Rhino back up, he's groggy, but Rhino's gonna fight out of that. Here we go, another strike contest, people. Back and forth, Undertaker and Rhino. Who will come out on top? Rhino is the one that comes out on top, but Undertaker's back to his feet. Gorilla press slam one more time from Rhino. Down goes Undertaker. Rhino from, wait, no, Undertaker side rushing leg sweep. We have 40 seconds left in round number one, dropping that big leg drop. Down goes Undertaker. What is Rhino gonna do here? What has Rhino got in mind? Throws the punch. Follows up Spine Buster, 10 seconds remaining. If they got something in the tank, they better do it. Undertaker going to town! But the bell rings and both men get a little breather before going into round number two. Wait a minute, Rhino TKO! Oh my God, Undertaker's still in the match somehow. This man is still in the match. Body slam, down goes Undertaker. A knee to the abdomen from Taker who's throwing off the punches. Rhino is out! The best pure striker strikes again! Undertaker and TH Takeover are moving on to the next round, people. And now we have two titans in the industry. Goldberg representing Hale Mendoza facing off against All Might representing Timmy Changa. The number one ranked hero versus the number one ranked WCW wrestler, brother. How crazy is it out here? Who will face the Undertaker in the finals of PCW Rebirth for the September Championship? The leg sweep there from All Might. He's not playing around, people. The Gorilla Press Slam showing off the strength. Oh, wait for that discus lariat. Not gonna happen. Goldberg able to trap the leg. Not a bad idea here from Goldberg as he goes around that lion cock punch from All Might. Forearm to the back of the neck. Goldberg able to stop All Might's momentum just a little bit. But All Might's gonna start coming right back at him. Throwing him down, Sintons, elbows, it is what it is. Big forearm there. Goldberg went for the spear, All Might moved out of the way. But Goldberg was able to get upper hand there somehow. I don't know how, but he did it. Up goes All Might, center of the ring, Gorilla Press Slam. Wait a minute, Goldberg. Big suplex drops All Might backwards. All Might is in trouble. Goldberg is in full control of this matchup. Wait a minute, Goldberg double axe handle over the back. All Might back to his feet, but now we got ourselves a strike contest here. We are just in round number one of this semifinal matchup. All Might comes out on top, but Goldberg's back to his feet already. Chasing him down, All Might with a knee to the abdomen. What has he got in mind here? Forearm to the back of the head. Whoa, deadlift German suplex from All Might, but I think he might have used a little too much energy there. Goldberg trying to get something started here, but All Might just showing off the strength. Again, four minutes, 30 seconds in, and he is still flexing Goldberg like baby hummers, dude. It's crazy out here. 
Goldberg reverses into a suplex. Four seconds remaining. Wow, and they are still so evenly matched. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Goldberg! Jackhammer on, oh my, oh my, still in the match. He's not, oh he's out! Goldberg got him! Goldberg has defeated All Might! Goldberg and Hail Mendoza are moving on to the finals to face off against Undertaker in TH TakeOver. This is for all the marbles, people. Undertaker representing TH TakeOver. Goldberg representing Hail Mendoza. WWF versus WCW here in PCW. Who will take it home? Who will be the PCW September champion and have the chance to face off against Tetsuya Naito for the PCW World's Championship? Goldberg has got the arm in an arm bar. Interesting strategy trying to stop the strikes there from Undertaker with the arm bar. I like it. Innovative. I can appreciate that. Undertaker getting him back up. I can't, I, I, Goldberg beat All Might. That's crazy to me. I did not expect that, and yet Goldberg came out through the top. Undertaker dropping him down. Oh, he's got that mount. He's got the mount. Is Ref James going to have to stop it? No, Goldberg able to fight his way out here. Three rounds, five minutes apiece. Undertaker drops Goldberg over his head. Throws the forearm there, and look how equally matched these two men are. A clubbing blow from Undertaker now. A forearm from Goldberg to fire back and show him he's still in this matchup. Over the head goes Undertaker. Goldberg with the Gorilla Press Slam. Oh, is he going to suplex Undertaker? No, it's not going to happen. Taker sends them back over with love. Back and forth strike contest. Undertaker going to take down Goldberg. This is not a good position for Goldberg. He has got to do something. There we go. A knee will stop it. The momentum shifts, but Undertaker, Tombstone Pile Driver. Oh, Goldberg's still in the match. And if he wants to keep in this, oh, wait a minute, the leg lock, is Ref James gonna call it? No, one minute remaining. Goldberg is hurt from that Tombstone, I know he is. Wait a minute, the Uranagi. Undertaker's still in it, we've seen it beat people before. Wait a minute, Undertaker. This is not a good sign for Goldberg. He's got him up, last ride, and Goldberg is out! Undertaker and TH TakeOver are your PCW September champions winning PCW Rebirth. And here is your champion and the man that will face off against Tetsuya Naito for the PCW World's Championship. Now let's get this underway. The PCW World's Championship is on the line. Undertaker, representing TH TakeOver, had one hell of a tournament, and now he gets to face off against Tetsuya Naito, representing Xenon AMVs. Will Undertaker be able to dethrone the PCW god, Tetsuya Naito? Naito gonna fire back, throw him into the ground head first with that driver there. Undertaker going for the clubbing blows. You got a little bit of a difference in the movesets between these two men. You know, Undertaker's going to go for the strikes. Naito's going to go for the knockouts with the grapples. Oh, well, may maybe my man said, I'm going to go for it. He's going to go for them forearms. Maybe he's changing his game plan up a little bit. Championship match, just in case we need it. Five rounds, five minutes apiece. I don't think we're going to need all of that. But just in case we do, it is there in this championship matchup. We will get a winner. We will have a PCW World's Champion by the end of this. Naito with the Liger Kick. Undertaker's obviously been watching the tapes. Striking out on Naito here. Oh, he's going back to it again. Twice in a row. He's going for the third time, maybe. Naito going to throw a punch, but Undertaker's going to throw one right back. Taker picks him up now. Naito able to drag him to the center of the ring and take a second. Oh, I thought Naito had that. Oh, wait a minute. Taker. Big joke slam critical. Undertaker and TH TakeOver are your new PCW World's Champion. Wow. The Choke Slam critical three minutes and 23 seconds into round number one. And Naito has been dethroned. And we have your new champion right here, people Undertaker and TH TakeOver. What a way to end PCW Rebirth, crowning a new champion with a critical in the first round. Damn. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope that you guys enjoyed this entire tournament. 
I always hope you do because I always have a fun time doing them. And I hope that you guys are enjoying them just as much. Remember to leave a thumbs up to show your support. Subscribe if you guys are not subscribed for more of that goody goody. Tell me down in the comments what your favorite match was. Whew, I'm, I'm kind of riding a high off that one. I'm kind of riding a high off that one. So thank you guys so much for supporting PCW. I really appreciate all of you. Remember, if you want to participate in PCW, all you have to do is click the link in the description and you can join right up. It's really neat. I think you'll I think you like it. I think, I think you, you know, being in a tournament, I think it's fun. And I think you'll enjoy it. So anyways, I'll see you guys on the next PCW tournament. See you.